I'm on the six months of common. Prior to that, I've been working in pain, um, inpatient pain, which I've done for 17 and a half years, of which I've led the service for the last six and a half. Before that, I worked here at Ashford St Peter's in the intensive care unit, and I trained originally at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge, and once when I qualified there, I initially worked in acute medicine for the elderly, and then I did a two-year trauma rotation. Yeah, so Schwartz Round um, is a concept that came to the UK from America um, probably about 15 years ago now that um, allows staff um, a space and an opportunity to share stories so that they can um, learn from those stories and reflect on them and um, share emotions because healthcare is quite an emotive subject it what we do is what we do has emotion linked to it and so um, with the Schwartz rounds it gives us that time and that opportunity to share those emotions so that we don't build them up um, we recognize them in each other and hopefully staff don't burn out so much I believe it was um, our current CEO who um, at the time was chief nurse who suggested the concept as a way of helping staff um, you know general well-being um, and as I said we're, we're, we're six, six years this year into actually running the rounds and um, we've worked very close with the Point of Care Foundation who um, brought the rounds over to the UK mm -hmm. um, and you know, we get a good attendance still at them every month. So they're open to all staff, so, you know, anyone can come along, whether they're ancillary staff, housekeeping staff, um, ward staff, doctors, allied health professionals, um, non-execs, the exec board, so mm. anyone who's employed by the trust can attend. Although a story might not be directly related to what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, you may actually be able to make some links with it and that might trigger a memory of something that's happened to you in your own workplace. Um, so we get staff sharing their stories um, in the bit where the audience kind of are able to participate. Mm -hmm. So the theme comes from a number of different ways. Sometimes we're approached by um, clinical staff who've, um, or non-clinical staff who've been involved in either in a certain patient or a clinical situation or a non-clinical situation that's affected them and they want to share it in a short round environment. Um, sometimes we are made aware of situations that have happened and again we'll then approach those staff and say would you be interested in sharing them at a short round um, and sometimes um, we have a short round steering group and sometimes um, the themes might come from us having a discussion or being aware of what's happening in the trust. So the thing with shorts is it's very very structured um, so a, a short round lasts an hour Usually you get five minutes just for the introduction and then we have a panel of staff um, between usually three or four staff, sometimes we've had five, who um, have brought their story to share with the audience and they each then spend five minutes telling their story um, before the rounds then opened up to the audience and then we have a facilitated discussion um, for the rest of that hour, leaving the last five minutes for the panel to have the last... Um, comments um, before closing the round so one of the important things for staff to know is that it's not going to overrun they know when they'll definitely be able to be finished um, and um, it, it's a facilitated conversation so we have trained facilitators um, to make sure that we keep the environment safe for staff to share their thoughts. Okay. So they're held monthly, only we don't ever run one in August or December. Um, so we run 10 rounds a year. <laughs> so it, it, it's difficult um, to 
talk about the impact on patients, um, but what we do know uh, is that there's been some research done at, um, by Professor Jill Mayburn, um, who's currently working at the University of Surrey, um, and they the, she was involved in a commissioned piece of research, and it's shown that there is an impact on staff and how um, they're able to deal with their work on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Um, The Point of Care Foundation is the main link, so when a hospital decides that they want to start running Schwartz Rounds, um, they get in touch with the Point of Care Foundation who then provides training and you need a clinical lead and you need facilitators um, and then you need to have a Schwartz Round steering group and it is one of those things that needs really strong support from the exec team and um, which we have. Um, and I think that's partly due to the success that people actually feel that they can attend the rounds. Um, so it was originally set up um, I said just about six years ago um, with, with the training from the Sh um, Point of Care Foundation and then the original um, clinical lead and facilitator were then mentored as they were able to start to set up the rounds mm. to make sure that they were felt supported and then since then, other facilitators like myself have been along to the Point of Care Foundation and had the training so that you know exactly what you're doing and you understand the model and how it works and okay. how to protect staff. The first thing to do is to um, probably to look on the Point of Care Foundation's um, website, um, which will give them lots of information and then to make contact with the Point of Care Foundation who will then um, perhaps put them in touch with trusts who are running rounds close to them and arrange for them to go and observe them so they can see what they're like and then from then on the Point of Care Foundation supports them to actually set them up. Okay, and what's next for Schwartz Rounds at the um, Ashford and St Peter's Hospital? One of the things that we've done um, recently and we've now collaborated with Point of Care Foundation is set up what we call pop-up Schwartz Rounds which is a way of taking the Schwartz Round concept into the clinical area because one of the issues with Schwartz Rounds is that it's um, at a set time and a set place so it relies on staff being able to leave where they're working to come to the round and for a lot of frontline staff that's not always possible so we run pop-up rounds so that we can run a much smaller round but with still the same structure and actually take it into the clinical area. So I suppose for us the next thing is to build on that and to um, make more clinical areas aware that we can actually bring that to them. Mm.